What's up guys? I'm here with Brandon. We're at a different trail system this time. I'm sorry I just started recording. We've been riding for like 15 minutes already. But we're over at a different trail system. Pretty close to my house, but not the same one that we usually go on. And we're just riding right now. Um, we're headed to the power lines area because apparently it's really nice and looks cool and everything, so. But yeah, so we're just riding. I'm trying to send it as much as I can because our trails are not as smooth as this. So I'm trying to enjoy it a little bit by going a little faster than I normally go. But yeah, I, when I pulled in, there was a massive convoy of dirt bikes and trucks. And I'm like, all right, I think I'm in the right place. But yeah, it's a pretty good system. They really like flatten the trails. You can see here, it's all sand and there's some ruts and stuff, but there's not as many rocks as ours at all. There's still some roots and puddles and whatever, but it's pretty nice. We're just headed to the power lines part. And uh, just going for a nice Friday morning ride. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying your summer so far. Some of you probably aren't out of school yet. Maybe you are, I don't know. I've been out for a while. I graduated a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's June. I'm pretty excited. At the end of the month, I'll be getting the new quad to the channel. So that'll be pretty awesome. Oh, here's the power lines. Oh yeah, this is a huge power line compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> pretty rough in here this is probably rougher than our trails actually no probably the same yeah it just rained yesterday so probably not the greatest day to go riding right after the rain but I did get waders. I probably should have just worn them, but I didn't know how wet it was going to be. I have my riding boots on anyway, so. look like anybody has ridden this today yet I don't see many tracks on the trails or anything they put these telephone poles down so that the trail doesn't get washed out which is pretty smart Definitely having mud terrains on this type of rock is, it's not enjoyable. Let's just say that. The knobs want to make me like drive off sideways and everything, which is kind of annoying, so. All right guys, back with you. We just got some gas and rode around a little more. Now I'm gonna record again. I do have my light bar on because I have sunglasses on as goggles. Oh, should have hit it faster. I don't know. 
You can you can put your hand under water. I didn't know it was that deep, but I'm still gonna try it. All right, you want me to try? Yeah, go <laughs> yeah get on the other side. All right, guys, I'm gonna try this. It's definitely a rock. Oh, I'm in two wheel drive. Oh my. <laughs> oh my stupid. Is that my light bar smoking? What is this? Steam? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I'm jumping off, hold on. All right, just try to pull it. There you go. What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think we bottomed out. <laughs> I think we bottomed out on something in there. <laughs> you didn't even notice when I attached it? <laughs> Did you work that on there? Yeah. <laughs> Brandon was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Got him. I didn't know I was only in two wheel drive. I'm like, what the? I'm like, why aren't, I'm trying to pull the diff lock and it's not engaging. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here? That was funny. Guys, always check if you're in four wheel drive before you hit a mud hole. I'm stupid. But we tried, that was good for the video, right? It was a learning experience, okay? I'll double check every time now before I go into a mud hole. Yeah, tie it to me and then tie it to you. Well, you want to try to drive over then? There's no way we're going for that. Yeah, there is. Alright, I guess since we can't get through it, we're going to try to go around through here. I don't know how well this is going to work. I feel like we're not going to fit through the freaking tree here <laughs> Brandon it's the axle the axles too wide 
Guys, the problem is this is a one-way trail, so we technically can't go back the way we came. Which is why we're trying to go this way. Hey! Yeah, I just like went forward and then went left. That's so sketchy. Who maintains this? I have no idea. Nobody. Yeah, clearly. Alright, well at least we made it out. Alright guys, we made it through that sticky situation back there. Alright, we're back on some of the trails, nice. So yeah, somehow we made it to squeeze through those trees that were right next to each other. Brandon messed up his plastics a little bit. Like, his plastics are fine, but he lost a push pin, so. I thought I was gonna smoke my belt, because, like, the wheels could barely spin around that corner um, where I was trying to, like, climb up the tree, basically. But yeah, having a skinny ATV is sometimes better and sometimes worse. In that situation, it was better, but because Brandon's rear wheels, his offset is so wide, he could barely squeeze through that. 